Hello everyone. Today we will be introducing the derivative. When we are talking about average rate of change, we mean the slope of a secant, which is f of x minus f of a over x minus a. But when we are talking about instantaneous rate of change, we are talking about the slope of a tangent. Today we're going to be practicing finding slopes of tangents using the definition limit as x goes to a f of x minus f of a over x minus a. And to find the equation of a tangent line, we will be using the formula y minus f of a equal m of tangent, which is the slope of the tangent into x minus a. Let's see this example here. Let f of x be a function equal to minus 16 x squared plus 96 x. Consider the point 180 on the curve. In part A, we want us to find the slope of the tangent to the graph of f at p. So I'm going to use the definition limit as x goes to a f of x minus f of a divided by x minus a. a here is equal to 1, and you can know that from the point a, f of a, are the coordinates of the point p. Now, this is equal to the limit as x goes to 1, f of x minus f of 1 over x minus 1. Now we can substitute f of x by the expression at the top highlighted. Then we are finding the limit as x goes to 1 of minus 16x squared plus 96x minus f of 1. f of 1 here is 80. We can get it from the point divided by x minus 1. If you factorize the numerator, you will be having, now we have the limit as x goes to 1. I'm going to take minus 16 as a common factor outside from all the monomials. Then we have an x squared minus 96 divided by 16 is equal to 6x. I switched the signs because I took a negative GCF here. And a plus 80 divided by 16 is 5. Divided by x minus 1. Now let's factorize more. So we get the limit as x goes to 1 of minus 16 into x minus 5 and x minus 1 divided by x minus 1. If you note, simplify x minus 1 here, and then the answer is equal to minus 16 into x minus 5. Now your limit is going to 1. Since here x is going to 1, I can substitute my x by 1, and then I get minus 16 into 1 minus 5 which is equal to minus 16 times negative 4, which is equal to 64. And this is the slope of our tangent. Now we are done from part A. Let's move to part B. In part B, he wants you to find an equation of the tangent line in part A. So I'm going to use the formula y minus f of a equal the slope tangent into x minus a, where a is equal to 1. Still, we are in the same point. y minus 80 is equal to 64 into x minus 1 for the point P having 1 and 80, so A is 1 and F of A is 80.
you can do distributive property and then add 80 you will get the final answer y equal to 64x minus 64 plus 80 which is equal to a 16 and that's the equation of our tangent here and here you can see the figure of our curve minus 16 x squared plus 96 x and our tangent in the graph another definition which is alternative to our previous one for a secant slope you can find it through f of a plus h minus f of a over h for the instantaneous rate of change or the slope of a tangent it's equal to the limit as h goes to zero f of a plus h minus f of a over h here you can say that h is equivalent to x minus a let's see how it works in this example here we are asked to find an equation of the line tangent to the graph of f of x equal to x, x cubed plus 4x at 1 5. now we will be solving the equation of a tangent but this time we're gonna use the second formula the limit as h goes to zero f of a plus h minus f of a divided by h for f of a a here is 1 from the point f of a is equal to 5 which is f of 1 we still have to find f of a plus h which is in this case f of 1 plus h substitute in your equation here each single x by 1 plus h i will get a 1 plus h cube plus 4 times 1 plus h before i substitute my f of 1 plus h in the formula i'm going to expand first so i will get a 1 cube plus a 3 h plus a 3 h square plus an h cube and then I'm going to do distributive property for the number 4 outside here. So it is 4 times 1, which is 4, and 4 times h, which is 4h. Combine your like terms. I have an h cube. I will arrange. So I get a standard form and a 3h square. I have a 3h and a 4h, so a total of 7h. A 1 and a 4 which is equivalent to 5. Now go back to your formula and this time substitute f of 1 plus h and f of 1. f of 1 plus h is equivalent to h cube plus 3h square plus 7h plus 5 minus f of 1 which is equivalent to 5 which is the y of the point you have divided by h. Do substitutions and the 5 will cancel with minus 5. Now, all the remaining terms contain an h. I'll take this h outside as a common factor. The limit as h goes to 0 now, h is outside, and then we have an h squared plus a 3h plus a 7h divided by h. The h will cancel, and then the answer is that as sorry here seven, not seven h. As h goes to zero of a zero squared, why did I replace h by zero? Since I am calculating the limit as h goes to zero, so it's equivalent to the limit of zero squared plus three times zero plus 7. Once you do the substitution, you don't need to write the word limit anymore. So here I can erase it. It's fine. So my slope is equal to 7. 
they want still the equation of the tangent. Using the formula y minus f of a, f of 1 in this case, equal to the slope of the tangent into x minus a, the a is 1 again, substitute f of 1 by 5, the slope by 7, and x minus a. y minus 5 is equal to 7 into x minus 1. Do the distributive property and then add 5. So y equals 7x minus 7 plus 5 is minus 2. And here we go, the equation of the tangent. Now let's make things general. So instead of saying now the slope of a tangent is equal to, we will say the derivative of the function f, f prime of x, using this notation here, is equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So basically the functions f of x plus h and f of x are two very close points. Instead of doing rise over run, we will use the formula here. Computing a derivative. Consider, once again, we will consider this function, minus 16x squared plus 96x. And this time we're going to find the derivative of prime of x without any single point. So let's do it generally. I'll use the formula limit as h goes to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided h where f of x plus h is the same as f of x but replace this time x by x plus h so you will get a minus 16 into x plus h square plus a 96x plus h simplify your work so you're gonna get a minus 16 into Distributing the power 2 or expanding the power 2, you should be careful to apply the tri perfect trinomial formula x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. And then you have 96 here. 96 times x is 96x. And 96 times h, which is equivalent to 96h. One more step to go to simplify minus 16 distributed again between the parentheses here so you'll get a minus 16 x squared minus 32 x h and minus 16 times h squared which is minus 16 h squared plus 96 plus it's supposed to be here 96 x sorry i missed it and 96 x and 96h. Now go back to your formula, but this time you substitute the expression of f of x plus h here. So we have the limit as h goes to 0 of minus 16x squared minus 32xh minus 16h squared plus 96x plus 96h. The whole expression here represents only f of x plus h. Now minus f of x. The f of x given here and the given up. Copy it again in your expression. So you get a minus 16x squared plus a 96x all this expression is divided by h you should do some simplifications now in the numerator to get the, the limit as h goes to 0 of minus 16 x square copy 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 minus 16 h square plus 96 x plus 96 h be careful when you have a minus and you're expanding to switch the signs after it's going to be a plus 16 x square and a minus 96 x all divided by h 
Now let's do some solutions. Opposite terms are going to cancel. Minus 16x squared will cancel with 16x squared. Um, 96x is going to cancel with minus 96x here. And no more things to cancel. Our expression. The limit as h goes to 0 of. Notice every time you have the terms remaining with h and you are in the, on the right track. I'm going to take an h outside common factor. Now we get a minus 32x, a minus 16h, and a 96, all divided by h. Cancel your h here, and then the h is going to be minus 32x, minus 16h, plus 96. Don't forget h is going to 0, so you can substitute your h here by 0, and then you get minus 32x. This will be a 0 plus, plus 96. And this is the derivative of x. In this example, f of x will radical x. Let's find dy by dx. Well, dy by dx is another notation for y prime. So basically, we're finding y prime, which is equal to dy by dx, which is equal using the definition to the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Well, let's find f of x plus h. f of x plus h is equal to radical x plus h. Replace in your equation limit as h goes to 0 of square root x plus h minus radical x divided by h. Well, think of the conjugate because we have radicals. The conjugate of radical x plus h minus radical x is radical x plus h plus radical x divided by the same thing here radical x plus h plus radical x. We have the limit as h goes to 0. Every time you multiply conjugates, the answer is the difference of squares. So radical x plus h squared minus radical x squared divided by h into radical x plus h plus radical x. The radical and the square will cancel here, so we have limit as h goes to 0 of x plus h minus x divided by h into radical x plus h plus radical x. x and minus x will cancel, and then we have one more time the limit as h goes to 0 of h divided by h into radical x plus h plus radical x. Cancel the h and don't forget h is going to 0 so this h here is going to be equal to 0. The result is now no more, no more need to write the limit here so I'm going to write 1 over radical x plus another radical x which is 1 over 2 radical x that's the derivative of prime or y prime in part b they want the equation of the tangent at 4 2 well for the point 4 2 a is 4 f of a is equal to 2 and the equation of the tangent is y minus f of 4 equal to the slope of the tangent we still didn't get the slope of the tangent completely, uh, into x minus a. a here is 4. To find the slope, let's go back to part a and substitute our x by 4 from the point. 1 over 2 radical 4, which is equal to uh, 1, over a quarter, 1 over 4 or a quarter. Now our function, our tangent line is y minus 2 equal to a quarter into x minus 4. Now, if you want to change this into slope-intercept form, it's going to be y equal to a quarter x minus 
uh, 4 times a quarter is a complete minus 1 plus 2, which is equal to plus 4. Now let's move to here. G of t is equal to 1 over t squared, so G of t plus h will be 1 over t plus h squared. Finding the derivative g prime of t, I will go back to our definition. The limit as h goes to 0 of g of t plus h minus g of t divided by h. For more substitution, the limit as h goes to 0 equal to 1 over t plus h squared minus 1 over t squared divided by h. Let's make a calculator here. I miss a t squared from the first fraction, and in the second fraction, we miss t plus h to the power of 2 up and down. Now we can write our a simpler way. Limit as h goes to 0 of a whole fraction over h and up we will write the common denominator which is t squared into t plus h squared. No need to expand here. Let's work a little on the numerator. We have a 1 times t squared which is equal to t squared and then we have a minus so be careful to expand t plus h squared. It's t squared plus 2th plus h squared. Don't forget to switch the signs because of the minus over here, and then it's minus t squared minus 2th and minus h squared. Those implications, t squared and minus t squared will cancel, and then I'm, I can here multiply the h with t squared into t plus h squared. Our final answer, we are almost done. Limit as h goes to 0 of minus 2th minus h square divide h into t square times t plus h square. We can take an h in the numerator as a common factor and then it's minus 2t minus h divided by h into t square t plus h square. For sure we will cancel the h from here and don't forget h is going to 0. So this h is going to be a 0 and the other h here is going to be a 0. Our answer is going to be minus 2t divided by a t squared and another t squared. So we can cancel one more t and then it's minus 2 over t cubed. That's the final answer. Thanks for watching and for more videos, more practice, watch the coming videos. Don't forget to subscribe.